friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here thank you for your love thank you for your support but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe automatically your notification bell will be on you will be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video and i promise you guys you will always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time of a Ugandan lady by the name of Jessica, or we can call her Jessie, who thought had found love on social media with a Romanian guy. But after being in a relationship with that Romanian guy, a lot happened. And what happened to her, guys, is going to shock you, is going to make you very angry, You'll feel sad for her, your blood will boil, but at the same time, you are going to learn a lot. This video will shine your eyes, because these are the things I have been warning you about. That guys, when you are on the dating apps, dating sites, on social media, searching for love, even in real life, be careful of these kind of guys. So we have got a vivid example, guys. When I got to know about this story, I was super angry. I felt really sad. Oh my God, this story got into me and it's like Jessie was my blood sister. I felt so sorry for her, but sadly I couldn't do anything cause it had happened already. So without wasting much of the time, guys, let us jump into this love story. So dear friends, Jessie's love story starts back in Uganda and tells us after finishing school, met this cute Ugandan guy, <laughs> a juicy one. <laughs> they fell in love, all was good between them. They did not date for so long. Immediately, they got married. Jesse never had any experience when it comes to dating cause that was her first guy and became her husband. At first, everything was going on smoothly. Jesse was enjoying her marriage. But as days kept on going, this guy's true colors started coming out. Kenyan ladies will tell you, <laughs> he started showing her character development. Yeah, started torturing her psychologically. And cause the guy was toxic, though Jesse came to realize later whereby this guy had manipulated her, could control her on everything. Even the money she could work for, this guy could take her money and do what? Buy things and write them into his names. Yeah, so this girl kept on suffering and suffering and suffering for five good years in that marriage and one time met this Ugandan lady whom they became friends and this Ugandan lady later found a Romanian guy on the dating apps and got married but they kept on communicating with Jesse. Jesse could tell her all her struggles, how she is suffering in that toxic marriage. So that Ugandan friend who was married in Romania kept on telling Jesse, no, you can't keep on suffering in that marriage. You have to leave that guy. You are going to suffer till when. Better leave him and look for a white guy because white guys are super good they are sweet they are going to treat you good they will never cheat on you they will never hurt you <laughs> so the image the friend gave to her was white guys are angels <laughs> saints <laughs> yeah so encouraged her kept on encouraging her to leave that marriage eventually jesse had the courage 
to leave her marriage, but tells us left her marriage with nothing because the husband could take all her money here. So guys, after leaving her marriage, she started from zero, didn't have anything. And I can say this lady is very strong, very, very strong. Cause most will be like, no, I don't have anything. How am I going to start? Cause the big problem that makes ladies stay in toxic relationships is the fear to get started, to start from zero. But Jessie had that courage. That is why I'm calling her a strong woman. So, cause Jessie had her job already, of course, she kept on working and building herself. She built herself to an extent was like, you know what, now I am ready to start looking for that white man because she was done done with black men due to her past love relationship. What happened to her with her ex in her marriage? So dear friends, that Ugandan lady in Romania advised Jesse, if you want a white guy, go to Facebook. You are going to find him there. And Jesse trusted her friend very, very much, listened to everything she could advise her. So yes, joined Facebook and started looking for a white guy. <laughs> so when she joined, got lots of friend requests from different people all around the world. So started interacting with these people on Facebook. And one day guys, Jesse got a friend request on Facebook from a Romanian guy. They started being friends at first, but as they kept on chatting, communicating, this guy told Jesse he is so much in love with her. And yeah, that is how they started dating. So dear friends, as they kept on getting to know each other, the Romanian guy told her that, yes, I am from Romania, but right now I am in France. I work with a furniture company as a carpenter. So after telling Jesse what he does for a living, Jesse told him too what she does for a living. And they continued communicating. It reached a point whereby the Romanian guy started opening up and told Jesse a bit of his family background. So told Jesse that he was raised by his grandmother. Reasons were his parents got separated when he was very, very little and later lost his mom, but his dad moved on and married another woman. So he was like, I'm not in good terms with my father because my father was very aggressive with my mother when I was very little. But Jesse, as a good woman, encouraged him that you have to forgive him. You know, he's the only parent that has remained. So it is good to have a good relationship with your dad. Forget about the past. Maybe he is a changed man now. He was like, thank you. I am going to think about it. So the relationship continued, guys, very, very well and tells us they could talk every single day, chat and make video calls every single night. So guys, as the relationship continued to go very well, it had reached six months. But this Romanian guy wasn't talking about meeting at all, at all. Yes, they were talking as lovers and all that, but nothing like, let's meet in real life. I would like to meet you. So Jesse had to ask this guy, when are we going to meet? And the guy was like, we can plan on that. And yes, guys, they started planning on meeting but the romanian guy told jesse i want you to be the one to come and visit me in romania also advised her to apply for a visit visa so guys after jesse talking to her romanian boyfriend had to talk to the ugandan lady the friend 
in Romania because she was the one guiding her through. <laughs> she had enough experience. <laughs> is Ugandan, has been through visa process and all of that. So yes, called the friend and told the friend that we have talked and he suggested I go with a visit visa. But her friend told her, no, 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 you know, I've got enough experience. Do not apply for a visit visa. They are going to disturb you a lot and you will end up being rejected. I suggest you go with a tourist visa because for me, I got rejected four times and I could apply for a visit visa whereby eventually I had to talk to my husband and he came to Uganda. We got married. After getting married, that's when I had to move to Romania. So for you not to go through what I went through, please go with a tourist visa. It's going to be very easy for you. She was like, okay, no problem. I am going to apply for a tourist visa. So went back to the boyfriend and told the boyfriend, I've decided I'm going to come with a tourist visa. And yes, guys, started the visa process. So when she started the visa process, her friend again in Romania told her that you are going to contribute to that trip with your Romanian boyfriend. Because even me, I contributed equally. <laughs> and I came here, everything is good. My husband is treating me super good. And even that husband, she's blessed, guys. <laughs> took all her three brothers to Romania. They are in Romania now, living a very happy life. So told Jesse, do that, contribute equally. When you reach here, your life will change. You know, you're going to change your life in Romania. Everything is going to be fine. Guys, Jesse believed her and was like, all right, that is what I am going to do. Mind you guys, Jesse tells us or was telling me, Bella, at that time, I was watching your videos. I was your subscriber, <laughs> busy watching every video that you upload. But I didn't come for guidance because I had my friend guiding me. Oh my God. So guys, if you are Ugandan watching this, you know that there is no Romanian embassy in uganda if you are to apply for your visa you have to go to nairobi kenya that's where the embassy is so jesse was supposed to travel from uganda to nairobi so that she can go to the romanian embassy and apply for her visa but all this process that she could do the boyfriend did not send her the money told her that he's going to pay for the ticket so Jesse tells us spent 4 million Ugandan shillings only for the visa process because this lady had to book for hotel reservations. This lady had to pay for her traveling insurance. This lady had to pay for the visa fee. This lady had to pay for her transport from Uganda to Nairobi, Kenya, had to pay for the hotel in Nairobi as she is waiting for her visa to be processed. The transport from her hotel to the embassy, oh my God, she spent a lot, a lot of money. That is why she tells us in total, it was 4 million Ugandan shillings. So yes, guys, all documents were ready and she had to travel from Uganda to Kenya. And the day came for her to go to the embassy to submit her documents. She went to the embassy to submit her documents. Everything went super, super good. And they told her to come back after one week. And guess what? After that one week, Jesse went to the Romanian embassy 
and she got her visa got granted the visa guys to go to romania when she told the boyfriend the boyfriend was super happy over the moon and also told the friend the friend was like oh my god you're super lucky to get the visa because not everyone gets granted the visa that first time when you apply so yes guys jesse was overjoyed <laughs> yeah after being granted the visa and had to travel back to uganda so after arriving in uganda communicated again with this romanian boyfriend and told him that now it's your turn you have to send me the air ticket imagine guys this romanian guy started telling jesse you know what right now i don't have enough money i can't send you money i've got very little money so when i send it how are we going you know to survive when you arrive here so just look for the ways to buy the ticket for yourself and Jessie had to run back again to her friend in Romania not to ask her to, to buy for her the air ticket no to advise her on what to do but this friend told her you know I've talked to my husband and my husband is like you're very very lucky to be granted that visa because you stood on your own sponsoring yourself so you shouldn't let this chance go just like that no invest that money you will get that money back and told her like I told you I invested money too that is why right now I am enjoying life all my money that I spent came back to me. <laughs> yeah, so you to do it. Buy the ticket and come here. You are going to change your life when you come to Romania. So guys, Jessie tells us at that point, she was almost giving up. Because spent all that money and the boyfriend never sent her even a coin. All the time she could complain to be helped, you know, in the process, this guy could say, I am sorry. And now the friend is telling her to pay for her ticket. I was like, what can I do? The friend kept on insisting that take the opportunity. <laughs> in the end, guys, decided to follow her friend's advice and bought the ticket to Romania. So dear friends, I have to say something here about this Ugandan lady, Jessie's friend, who was in Romania guiding her. First, I want to thank her, to encourage her to leave that toxic marriage. Because sometimes, guys, when you are into a toxic marriage or in a hard situation, you need someone to talk to. So I know how important that friend is to Jessie cause encouraged her through her difficult time until she left that marriage but when we come to her relationship with a Romanian guy no she misled her but again attention guys I'm not here to blame her oh this lady is bad did that intentionally no simply is wanted to help wanted her friend to live a happily life in Romania but did not have enough experience when it comes to online dating when it comes to dating and i remember sitting down here told you that some ladies are lucky exists ladies guys who joins dating sites that same same day they find love within two days they find love within three days they find love if you told that lady all challenges that you are going through online they will not understand you because they never went through that they are simply lucky exist ladies who have found rich 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 guys i told you like a story i shared here of dorothy a ugandan lady who got married to a german guy a very rich german guy for me i never thought it is possible to find a very rich guy on the dating sites or apps <laughs> i used to think like these people are rich they don't have even time for dating sites <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's impossible. But Dorothy's story proved me wrong. <laughs> On the other side, this doesn't mean that every woman that is on the dating sites or apps will come across a rich guy just like Dorothy. No, <laughs> she was just lucky to find that rich guy online. So this Uganda lady in Romania that was guiding Jesse was just lucky, you know, to find a good guy, very financially stable, a guy that stands by his words. Because this Ugandan lady, you know, contributed on her trip equally to go to Romania and later got her money back was simply lucky not everyone will be lucky that is what i've been telling you again follow all online dating rules you can't just depend on luck only and go to the dating sites apps social media with your eyes closed don't ever do that because you will end up crying so why am i telling you that jesse's friend in romania never had any experience when it comes to online dating so friends i am saying that this ugandan lady jesse's friend in romania didn't have enough experience because of the way she handled jesse's situation she was not supposed to compare her husband with jesse's boyfriend because they were totally two different people. She is lucky never faced challenges online. Is lucky found a very financially stable guy. Is lucky found a guy that stands by his words. Because contributed to her trip equally to go to Romania. And the husband later returned back her money. Okay was only lucky so the most important thing that she was supposed to do is to first understand jesse's boyfriend and you guys that are my babies when you come to me what do i do i first need to understand that guy i first need to know what have you talked about you know so that i can pick out the red flags even if you have found an Italian guy online and I am married to an Italian guy, a good Italian guy that treats me good, I'm not going to tell you, do not worry, Italian guys are good, you're going to be treated like a queen. <laughs> Just because I'm treated like a queen, no. I will first need to know who is this Italian guy because I told you every country has good guys and bad guys so the fact that the romanian guy jesse's boyfriend told her that i don't have enough money here with me so i cannot just send you the money that i have <laughs> it's going to be trouble when you come here it was clear that he is not ready to have a family i told you guys that interracial dating if you are living in different continents, it needs money. A guy needs to be ready, needs to be financially stable. If it is a job, he needs to have a stable job. That's very, very important, guys. Dear ladies watching this video, never ignore that. And I told you guys about Romanian guys. When I talked of countries to be careful with, when you are on the apps or sites, now we see a vivid example. They fantasize. But when it comes to finances, trouble. I am not saying all. Please, please, don't get me wrong, but it is something you should be careful with. Did I say that love is not enough? If a guy is telling you, I love you so much, I'm going to get married to you, we're going to have beautiful kids, we'll have a beautiful family, you are my queen, you are my everything, I can't live without you. <laughs> but these words are not accompanied by the actions, love is not enough. 
in this case yeah so this guy yes was telling her sweet sweet words i love you blah 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 but when it comes to putting in some money <laughs> This guy does not have money, but I love you. I want to be with you. So boy, how are we going to survive? <laughs> so the lady that was guiding her was supposed to see all this and tell her, my dear sister, Jessie, <laughs> please remain in Uganda. If this Romanian guy doesn't send you an air ticket, yeah. If I was the lady guiding her, of course, that is what I could have advised her. And not only on the ticket, even when she was processing the visa, I was going to ask her. So, you are processing the visa, who is sponsoring the trip? That is number one. Did this guy send you the invitation letter? Did he send you a document of proof of accommodation? If she could have told me no, I could have told her, girl, no. <laughs> Go to the dating apps and start searching. This relationship will never work out. But sadly, it is what it is. So yes, she paid for the ticket to go to Romania. Now, let's continue with what happened after. Because a lot is yet to come. So guys, days were approaching when Jessie was supposed to travel to Romania. Her friend in Romania told her that you have to buy him gifts too. <laughs> and because Jessie was listening to the friend, her instructions and everything, yes, went and bought gifts for the boyfriend. The day to travel came, she boarded, happy, 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 couldn't wait to meet her boyfriend in Romania and told her that we'll be at the airport waiting for her. So guys, at the airport in Uganda, when she was checking in, everything went smoothly. She passed and then boarded, then reached Dubai airport. At Dubai airport, still everything went smoothly. She passed. And finally, Jessie landed at her final destination at Bucharest Airport, whereby the boyfriend was there waiting for her. So, so she stood on the line to be checked so that she can go and eventually meet with the boyfriend. So as she was waiting on the line, you know, to be checked, by the immigration eventually arrived you know at the window and gave her passport when she gave out her passport the guy in the window you know the immigration officer told jesse to move aside guys jesse tells you that the saga had begun so when she moved aside the immigration officer called another immigration officer, a guy too, and they started interviewing her. Jesse wasn't prepared for that. Then the guy asked Jesse, how much money do you have? Jesse was like 300 euros. But the guy told her that she was supposed to have 500 euros because was going to stay in Romania for very few days. And this reminds me guys when I told you a story of my travel to Italy and I told you at the airport they asked me if I had show money. I was super angry <laughs> at that immigration officer in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania at the airport <laughs> who asked me for show money. But the guy was like, here I can leave you, you can go. But when you arrive at Amsterdam, if you find very mean, mean immigration officers, we are going to receive you in the arrivals tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, that is what he told me. He was like, they will just throw your passport on your face. But at that time, guys, in my situation, I thought the guy was making up things so that he can stop me from traveling to come to Italy. But listening to Jesse's story, I'm like, what? So these things are real. 
they are real guys but on the other hand on my situation i think maybe <laughs> They were not going to stop me because I was sponsored by my boyfriend at that time. He was involved in my travel. He paid for everything actually. But yeah, the guy was like, what if this guy that is going to pick you at the airport in Italy doesn't show up? What are you going to do? Do you have money to even go and make a call? <laughs> <laughs> to him be like i have arrived do you have money to take the train to his address to his house you don't have so how are you traveling oh my god i wasn't getting it why this guy is asking me all these questions my boyfriend can't abandon me at the airport hello <laughs> that guy at the airport in tanzania he was right so friends when the immigration officers at bucharest asked her how much money she had and said had 300 euros and they wanted her to have 500 euros then asked her for her hotel reservations then after seeing the hotel reservations had to ask her if she knows anyone in romania so because this lady had sponsored herself paid everything for herself never had any invitation letter from the boyfriend or the proof of accommodation document of course had to say i don't know anyone and when she said she doesn't know anyone in romania the immigration officers had to take her phone so when they took her phone phoned messages from the boyfriend the Romanian guy found messages of her friend, the Ugandan lady who was in Romania. And after that, they had to go and open her bag. So when they opened her bag, they found that this lady had a letter of no impediment. The document that states that you are not married in Uganda because they had plans when she arrives in Romania they get married guys that was trouble for her this lady was in full full trouble they took her to the deportation room stopped her there and tells us in that deportation room had people from different countries who were also stopped because if they could find any you know any anything that could give them doubts you could be stopped so in that room had people from turkey had people from cyprus everywhere guys black people and there was this immigration officer at bucharest he was black tried you know to talk to other immigration officers so that they can help jesse they can release her and go join the boyfriend so the immigration officer could talk to her and told her maybe you try the asylum asking for asylum there was no way and on the other side the boyfriend was at the airport <laughs> waiting for her and told her that wanted to propose but this proposal guys for me i don't believe it at all at all at all you have the money to buy the engagement ring but you don't have the money to support my trip no i don't believe it and jesse never saw that ring but he told her he had wanted to propose <laughs> yeah so he waited on the other side and was crying wanted to see jesse but jesse was locked up so guys the immigration officers took her passport and after taking her passport was told to wait for 24 hours in that deportation room she waited and after 24 hours guys jesse got deported to uganda after arriving in uganda at the airport that is when she was given her passport accompanied by a paper written insufficient and inappropriate documentation also on her passport got a stamp of oh my god so yes guys jesse went back home very sad crying scared at the same time traumatized plus tells us 
her ticket costed her 4.2 million Ugandan shillings. So that means this lady lost 8 plus millions Ugandan shillings. Oh my God. That is why I told you when I heard her story, I felt super bad. Very, very bad. I don't know how to explain this. But this could have been avoided if that friend in Romania advised her well. This wasn't going to happen at all at all. Or if this lady could have reached out to me on Instagram or here on YouTube for the guidance, I could have guided her the right way to go about it. So yes, guys, Jessie had to keep on with her life and the relationship continued, guys. She did not end it with the Romanian boyfriend. Yeah, he told her that, don't worry, my love, I am going to come to Uganda. We'll get married. We will find a way to bring you to Romania. She believed him and was like, okay. And this guy was supposed to go to Uganda for their marriage, August 2023 he even sent her the document of no impediment that he is single in romania which could have helped them get married in uganda easily but when august was almost approaching this guy told jesse that he went back to Romania, he's no longer in France because the boss was bad, blah, 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 and also kept on looking for another job and eventually found a job in Germany. So after finding a job in Germany, August came and Jesse asked him, so are you coming to Uganda so that we can get married? He was like, no, I don't have enough money now. You have to wait maybe till December. And Jesse kept on waiting till December. But when December came, the guy brought up stories again and again and again and again. But Jesse did not end the relationship kept on the relationship with him. They kept on chatting, making video calls. And whenever Jesse could take long to respond or she doesn't respond to a call, oh my God, they could fight and fight and fight and fight just because of that. So character wise, this guy was a tough one cause after Jesse convincing him to go see the father, Yes, he went, saw the father, reconciled, and eventually introduced Jesse to his father and his stepmom. Tells us his parents really liked Jesse and told her, you have changed this guy a lot. So sometimes whenever they could fight, could talk to the mother-in-law, the boyfriend's stepmother. And the stepmother could be like, we like you so much and would like him to marry you. So Jesse could be like, yeah, you can talk to him. But the stepmother could be like, he has a very tough, tough character. When he gets angry, he is uncontrollable. Yeah. So that's another red flag, guys. Because <laughs> if his own parents are scared of him, how about you? <laughs> Just a woman who doesn't have a blood relationship with him. So that was supposed to worry Jesse also, but she was never worried about that. Kept on with the relationship, believing what the guy was telling her. So guys, they kept on talking and as they kept on talking, Jesse had told him that I borrowed the money that I used to pay for the ticket to come to Romania. And the boyfriend told her that, don't worry, <laughs> I am going to help you pay that money. I will send you the money. She was like, oh, fine, was really happy about it. But when she could keep on, you know, reminding him, eventually told her that he doesn't have that money to give to her. But she did not end the relationship, guys. They kept on talking. The plans were 
he was supposed to go to Uganda this year to marry her. But suddenly one day he calls her and tells her that I am giving you two options. <laughs> Whether I tell my bosses to invite you to Germany, you come and stay with me here, or I sell everything that I have because he was building a house in Romania, apparently. <laughs> sell everything and join you in Uganda. Find a job there, work there. So for Jesse, who doesn't have enough experience, of course, will believe all these words. But for me, I don't believe in that at all, at all. Because from his words, there is no future. No future at all, at all. Because in Germany where he lives, he says he doesn't have even an apartment. <laughs> lives in a room that he was given by his bosses. Same, same bosses that are supposed to invite her. Those are only fantasies, guys. It wasn't going to happen. So that was option number one, no future. Option number two, this guy selling everything and come to Uganda, live with her. It was a lie, a beautiful lie. <laughs> he couldn't do that. He couldn't. He was just, you know, trying to prolong the relationship. If you remember, I did a video here and I told you when you see these signs, the guy is just prolonging the relationship, but it will end into tears. Yeah. This is how this story was going to end. Another thing that Jesse said about this guy is that one day, I don't know, he went to the party with his friends and he got super drunk. When he got drunk, sent her lots, lots of messages insulting her and she was really surprised in the morning when she found those messages. So when she asked him, he was like, I don't know what my friend gave me. I wasn't myself at all. Please forgive me. Also, he could complain having anxiety problem. He could tell her nerves. <laughs> oh my God, the Romanian guy was a bomb which was to explode at any time. But sadly, Jesse didn't have any experience. So guys, eventually, Jesse was like, no, I can't deal with this alone. After being given the two options, <laughs> was like, no, I need to approach Bella on Instagram. And the good thing is that she was following me for so long watching my videos so knew that there is a fee to pay so that she can be guided so when she came to me i told her i was like bella i know so paid the fee and that's when this story came to me so when she told me about this story especially the deportation story I was so hurt. I told her, I am so sorry. Guys, I can't tell you how many times I told Jesse, I am sorry for what happened to you. And I still felt like it's not enough. So yes, after telling me everything, told me also about the two options. So I was like, Bella, what do you think? Do you think this guy is serious with me? I was like, girl, no, this guy is not serious. But one thing that I always do is that I don't just tell a lady, leave the guy without letting the lady open her eyes and see that it's true. This cannot work. Yeah. So that is how I work, guys. <laughs> I wanted Jessie too to open her eyes and see that this story will never work no matter how I hold on to it. So I told her, we need to put this guy on a test to first clarify if what he's telling you <laughs> will happen. Guys, in my mind, I knew already it was not going to happen, but I was doing this to help Jesse. So yes, the idea that came into my mind is to tell this guy that she has got a problem with money. It's true that I've been telling you guys that do not ask money from guys that you are chatting to on online dating apps. 
it's totally true and i still stick to that don't start chatting with a guy two to three days or a week two weeks the guy doesn't know you well you don't know him well you haven't created any relationship and you're asking for money already no do not do that but in this case yes we had to test to this guy ask him for just little money to see if what he's telling her that i am going to invite you you will come to germany my bosses are going to send you the invitation letter you will come here remember what happened to her in the past she's the one that paid for all the costs so to avoid this guy manipulate jesse again on paying for her ticket go to germany and do what nothing because he has no life in germany <laughs> So to avoid that from happening, we're supposed to ask money. And if this guy was going to give money, then that means he was also going to send her money for the visa process and also send her the ticket. Okay, so that was the point, guys. And on this case, it is different from what I've said that don't ask money with a guy that you don't know. Jesse had lost already more than 8 million Ugandan shillings. So there was no way this Romanian guy was going to call Jesse a scammer because she asked him some money. No, no way. <laughs> yeah, so let me hope there you understand. Don't watch this and then go start asking men money online. Be like Bella told us to test these guys by asking them money. This is a totally different case, okay? <laughs> and by the way, I've been doing this a lot, but relationships that have lasted for a year, two years, yeah. I remember last time there is a lady I was guiding. Her relationship had lasted for a year and I told her, if this guy is really serious, he's going to invite you. Just test him first. <laughs> we will see if he is capable of being like, I'm sending you money, do the visa process and all that. Not I'm sending you money, go spoil yourself. No. <laughs> do important things like the visa process so we tested him and he was like i've never sent money anywhere how can i send <laughs> and i told the lady tell him to send the money to your mother's phone because this lady apparently is in the gulf countries working yeah so later he was like no he doesn't know how to send money via the mobile i told her no problem if this guy really wants to send you that money give him my paypal after sending the money to paypal i am going to send your money to where you want it to go <laughs> yeah she was like really bella i told her yes i'll do that and yes we gave the guy my paypal it's true the guy sent the money through my paypal and i sent the money to her mother yeah so it's true the lady could count on that guy if she had any problem you know as a boyfriend so we solved that she was so happy was like oh my god bella what you have done to me i've known you for a very short period of time but you're more than a friend you are a sister so yes the guy passed but there is another guy that we tested they were in a relationship for two good years and this guy had even taken her goodies so many times she had never asked even a single coin from that guy even after meeting but the lady this is the second lady by the way guys not the first one <laughs> And the lady wanted to resign, go back home, you know, and wait for the guy so that the guy can go to her country and then they do the visa process. So I was like, let's test him, see how he is. Because at the end of the day, if you are to relocate in his country, he is supposed to take care of you. So if he can't help you with a little problem after two good years of dating, after enjoying good things together, the goodies, <laughs> then the guy is not serious. And yes, <laughs> we tested. Guess what? The guy brought million, million reasons <laughs> not to send the money 
to her i paid this i've paid that i don't have money to send you and i was like you know okay this guy didn't have you know something like a hundred euros but a guy who is generous a guy who is willing to help a guy who cares for the girlfriend was going to say you know what my love i've got only 20 euros will it help it is the only amount i can send to you in that case we could have you know be like okay he is generous you know he is caring <laughs> he's willing to give even if he has got little yeah that is what i was expecting from a guy and that's what the lady was expecting but no guys he never sent even a coin and later on he cried <laughs> not the lady that cried he was the one that cried but i'll tell you one day the full details of this story so with jesse guys yes we had to test this romanian guy by asking very little money from him that jesse has got a problem and guess what the guy told jesse i don't have a bank account I keep money at home and I told Jesse if he keeps money at home then that's good you know he can send you the money via Western Union MoneyGram <laughs> and all those remittances the guy was like I work a lot so when I go back home it is already late the banks are closed everywhere is closed and jesse was like i'm here in uganda i've got you know more than three <laughs> bank cards but this guy is in europe doesn't have a bank account i was like oh my god this is scary so you can see even the other time if jesse wasn't going to sponsor herself to romania there was no way jesse was going to be invited by this guy to romania like this guy is sending the proof of accommodation i don't know the invitation letter there was no way because he didn't have those documents to give her if he doesn't have even a bank account and i told jesse if this guy is like is going to ask his bosses to invite you send you the invitation letter to germany if it is true then he should tell the bosses to transfer money to my PayPal. I've got PayPal. They just do it through their phones or through a computer. Send the money to me and then I will send it to you. Tell him you got a sister in Italy. <laughs> the guy still was like, no, my bosses are not going to accept. There is no way I can send you the money, my love. But I love you so much. <laughs> From that time, I told Jesse end it you have wasted enough time there is no way you're going to meet this guy he's not coming to uganda and he will never invite you if he is to invite you to germany he will still tell you to sponsor your trip and even if you decide to sponsor your trip go stay with him how are you guys going to survive because you don't reach in germany and start working immediately no you'll have to study German language, <laughs> wait, then look for a job, and then you get to survive. Because the job he's doing, it's not a stable job, like he has got a permanent contract. No, it's not like that. He's just doing those jobs that you do after three or four months, it's done, and then you go back to your country or you find another job, in another country and i'm glad guys finally jesse shined her eyes <laughs> she realized that the relationship was not going to work out she lost all her money her energy everything emotions that she put into that relationship it was only one-sided it's only jesse that was serious but on the other hand the guy was never serious the guy was just fantasizing and these people can fantasize a lot in a way it might seem real like sending like when he sent her the document of singleness so in that case you'll be like maybe he is serious maybe he is real but that's how they play 
their games guys that is how they do it and jesse tells you that it ended badly it ended in tears yeah she had to give up on that relationship but left heart broken and sad for losing all that money so friends jesse's relationship with a romanian guy lasted one year and one month yeah and when she told the guy that it's over the guy started telling her oh my god i can't live without you i'm not even efficient at work i've gone back to alcohol i've gone back to smoking you are my reason to live <laughs> so if this lady was really his reason to live then he was going to show actions the words should match the actions I repeat, dear beautiful ladies, I'm doing this video, I'm so sad, and you can see it, guys, you know me, <laughs> I smile a lot in the videos and all that, but today, I think you can see my mood. I don't want this to ever happen to anyone. That is why I requested Jesse, please let us share so that we can help other ladies out there not to fall into a trap of a guy who is not serious just like the way you did so dear friends i'm concluding this love story by saying dear beautiful ladies please reason beyond your nose imagine a guy telling you i don't have a bank account i don't have any means of sending you the money and yet the same same guy is telling you that I am going to invite you. So how are you going to send me the money for the process? And also brought an excuse. I don't know German language, so I don't even know how I can send that money. You know, excuses that don't make sense at all, at all. Because when a guy is willing to do something, he won't bring excuses. He will just do things, okay? He will find a way out. I remember when I was little, my brother could tell me that, when a man tells you that <laughs> I can't do something, it's not that he can't do something. He just doesn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, so this reminds me of what my brother used to tell me. Even if you're a well financially stable woman, let the guy show the actions. If he's inviting you, let him take care of the costs. I know if there is any guy watching this, he's going to hate me. But it is the truth, guys. That is how these things should be handled. Because you see what happened. Who lost? Who lost in this story? Did the Romanian guy lose anything? He did not lose anything. And because he knew he was playing games, that is why he never wanted to invest even a single coin into that relationship. Let me hope, guys, this video has shined your eyes. <laughs> yeah, and it will help you not fall into the traps of wrong guys. So apparently, I am still guiding Jesse on her journey to find the one. And I believe that one day I'll come back here to share her online dating success love story so thank you so much guys for watching this video till now be blessed if you have liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good they will help you a lot on your journey to find that right guy please comment below what you think about this video and i love you so much guys so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao